It is good to see a creator today. We're going to talk about the SNAZ Stream Timer, and we're going to cover the text line changer and adding system information to your live stream. Let's get some. Okay, I want to remind you that this is part two. Part one can be found here where we discuss how to install SNAZ and how to work with inserting various countdown timers into your live stream. We're going to talk about the text line changer right now, which is a nice alternative to the scroll filter that you can apply to a text source in OBS. So let's tear into that right now. Here we go. Now what the text line changer does is it allows you to add a word or a phrase and then remove it and have it replaced with another word or phrase that you create based on a time increment that you can control. So how you add these words is you obviously go to the text line changer tab first and then in the field below type in your word. So I'll just add a couple lines here for you real quick. Okay, now I will change the switch lines every five to five seconds to one second so that we can see them switching faster when I show you the demonstration in OBS. And in order to see these actually switching, you have to hit the start button. And if you wish, you can click the stop button. All these controls will affect what you see on the OBS live stream. Okay, you may or may not see a path when you initially do this. When you hit the start button, the path will propagate automatically. This is really not very important as, far, as long as you understand where linechangerext.txt exists. That's the key. You want to know that it's inside SNAZ under the text files folder. That's important that you know you cannot paste this into OBS, okay? You have to use the browser button. We'll visit that in just one second. The button here in the upper right hand corner will allow you to actually edit the individual rows. So if I click text line four and click it, I can change it to whatever I want, right? Hit okay, it saves it, no big deal. You can change the order of these lines by using these arrows here. So I can move line two to the bottom if I want or I can move it up to the top. The next one is the randomize button. If you click that, it randomizes the lines. It gives you a prompt here. Are you sure you want to do it? You just hit yes, and it randomizes it for you. And the next one here at the bottom is the delete button. So I can delete a line. And also I can save it. If I click save to HTML file, it will save it for usage later, which can come in handy. So if I click it, it saves it to that XML file. And if you want to view it, click the open XML file and it brings it up in a text notepad for me and shows you the code that is used to display the lines. Now, I just made a, a list before, and the reason why is I think that this application would be absolutely fantastic to give a rolling shout out to your most common visitors that come into your live stream. So what I've done is I've created my own. So I'm gonna highlight everything and hit paste and it propagated it with what I've already saved and I'm gonna hit this the save button. I'll close that out. Now when I click the load XML file button here, it propagates it with everybody that I've already entered in here. So this could be useful for quickly entering all your favorite users into the system. Let's quickly put it into OBS and then we'll move on to system info. Cool. Okay, here we are in OBS Studio. I just literally created a brand new scene and I dragged in an MP4 of a nice background, okay? Now we're going to click the plus sign and select text GDI. I'll make it the shout out. I'll name it shout out, I should say, and hit OK. And I'll just type in some dummy text in here so that I can see what I'm doing in regards to changing font and color. I'm going to do that right now in three, two, one. Okay, here's the text. Now I want to let you know that when you set up a text source, the system automatically sets it so that it is aligned to left. And because we are cycling words with different amounts of characters, this will throw off how the text is lined up on OBS. So what we need to do is click on your text, then right click on it and select transform, edit transform. And what we're going to do is change the alignment of how the text works here. So positional alignment is going to be top center. The bounding box is going to be scale to inner bounds. And then finally, the alignment in the bounding box will be top center. So no matter what length of characters that are used, it will always remain centered in the bounding box, okay? So we'll hit close and we'll align it up dead center on the page. And I will then go back into the source, the shout out text source, go into properties and select read from file and choose browse. And we're gonna browse to the SNAZ 
uh, text file location, which is in my C folder. So C drive, then the SNAS folder, then text files inside of the SNAS folder. Okay, that's where we're located. And we're going to go to the line changer ext dot text file and hit open and hit OK. Now when I click the start button, it automatically propagates with inside that bounding box. So if I make the bounding box larger, the text is larger. Okay, and then I can put it anywhere I want. So the size of the bounding box has an impact on the size of the rotating text. I just want to make sure you understand how that works. Okay, awesome. Now let's move into putting the system information on your live stream as well. Here we go. Thankfully, the system information tab will actually give you a live output so that you can actually see what you're working with before you actually add it into OBS, which is really great. To add the individual elements here, you just hit this icon to the far right of the fields and they will add them into the output format. Once they're there, you can label them at will. So I'm going to do that right now in three, two, one. So as you can see here, I added text to label the information so that people know what the numbers mean. And in the live output, it reflects what I did. To put it into OBS, it's quite simple. It's just like doing it with anything else. You hit the plus sign, go into the text GDI. I'm going to label this stats, hit OK. And I will now add some dummy text in here just so I can see what I'm doing with the text. I will treat this with different colors and coolness in three, two, one. And now after treating the text with all the colors and the stroke and making it look cool, I'll go into read from file, click browse and go into my C drive and then go into the folder called SNAS and then the subfolder called text files and select the system info text file. Hit open and boom, it puts it right in there. I think I will, based on what I'm seeing now, I think I'm gonna increase the black line around the edges of the text more than what's set, which was eight. I'll make it like 13 or 14, I'll hit okay. And now I can reduce the size of the text. Let's see, let me lock the layer that shows the background and I'll turn that off and I'll turn off the shout out information as well. There we go. Now I can go into the stats and shrink it down. And in this case, you don't have to worry about it being centered as much because the, the information won't change over time. There's nothing cycling. The, the characters used won't really be modified. So you certainly could change it to anything you want. But in this case, I'm going to make sure that it remains aligned left. Okay. And then I can turn back my shout out information and turn back the background animation. And you have got it going on. Now, if you're interested in adding music to a video really fast without spending a literal dime just doing it quick on a pc click this link right here and i will catch you over there it's going to be a super simple fast video no nonsense fast and easy